welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Tuesday 26th of September 2023. Okay, top number two. Okay, now you may think to yourself, this is a fairly normal looking top. Yes, it has a hood. Always looks like a small gnome if I wear the hood. But this is what I would cross the street for every time. Look, it's got a glittery pocket. Oh my God, I mean, Every single top, and maybe even trousers, I'm gonna open that, should have a glittery pocket. Or I might have gone, oh, look at that, so you can just see it. I might have gone further and had a glittery hood, or the bottom of the hood, like the bottom of the V was glittery. I know, you can never have too many sequins. Yes, so I'm very excited about this. I might pair it as well with like a red Michael J. Fox Back to the Future gilet. Right, we are having some cards from the Herbal Tarot. There is only one card in here, and those of you that have been with the channel for a long time will remember where there's, I think, <laughs> I think it's Parsley, possibly. Um, it's the only card that I won't be able to show on screen, so you can bet your bottom dollar, as it were, that it will come up. If it does, I'll just have to cross that bridge when I come to it. Okay, so we're using the Turbo Harrow, or the Herbal Tarot. We've escaped so far. What do we need to know, please, about Tuesday? Except that it's always Tuesday. Always Tuesday. What is going on out of the window as well? Didn't do that yesterday. Oh, oh no. So in the hotel, they have an ironing board in the window. I know. I genuinely don't know how to put one of those up. And I don't intend to find out either, because no good thing can happen from being able to put up an ironing board, can it? Um, not been much silly jogs or anything, actually. Very much keeping themselves to themselves is interesting so if I see anything I'll let you know but at the moment nothing overall energy saw palmetto or the king of cups Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy I've got no idea what the moon's in either um, no I haven't got my diary up yet it always takes me when I've been on a trip always takes me a good week really to unpack. Let me know in the comments section what kind of unpacker you are. Some people, <clears throat> Virgo, get in, maybe Scorpio as well, and maybe Libra, I think. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. Get in and actually put things away. Empty the bag, you know, stuff goes in the wash basket, you put it away where it needs to be. And then, I'm sure Pisces is like this, because I'm a Pisces. I'm trying to think of other signs. Aries is probably like it too. Maybe Sag. We tend to let the bag unwind itself over a number of days where you will get frustrated, as I am, because you can't find things. But also things will just kind of like mutate into their places. And within two or three weeks, you're kind of, things are back to normal, you know? Not so much unpacking as smudging things. Anyhow, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It can be, each year, that you're in your feels about somebody because the King of Cups is the King of Feels. He's catching feels all the time and he's in his emotions, he's in his subconscious, and this could be, to, and I'm getting a really itchy nose, so for some of you it is. This could be something to do with old love for some people. And I'll, let me try and see, because of the whole upside down thing, I don't know how well this is going to work. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, that works incredibly well. Right, because of some of the other cards we've got... I'll put our overall energy card here. So here, we've got judgment or golden seal. 
Now, am I right in thinking, and by the way, it's never medical advice because I've got no idea. Am I right in thinking golden seal is what people put on their eye when they have a sty? Or am I thinking of something else? Could be golden eye, actually. Anyhow, we have judgment. And judgment is our back to the future card. Sort of hints at it with the um, little trumpet that we've got over here. That's like the angel's trumpet from Revelations, isn't it? And then we've got what I assume is that in golden seal is that the root is the herb, maybe. Not sure, to be honest. Judgment is the card that takes you back and says, is there something... Do you remember yesterday when we were talking about the rear view mirror? Is there something hanging back? Is there something in the past? Is there something that is not emotionally discharged or spent or dealt with? We have also, skipping over here, kelp. I love this deck, it's so beautiful. We've got the suspended person, which is the very PC version of the hanged man, isn't it? Of course, it's Neptune, which is why they very cleverly place this in the sea and put it underwater, as many hanged man cards are. So if you think about this, You've got Neptune and you've got the King of Cups, who is also sometimes shown as Neptune and is about water and feelings. And this is about water and feelings, but it's also about something being stuck or suspended or you're not quite able to get past it yet. So if you're feeling like you're kind of flumping around in the shallows or even the deep, you probably are. But then here we've got wild ginger. I didn't know there was a wild a ginger that wasn't wild. We've got the seven of wands, which is Mars in Leo. So this gives you some fight, actually. You feel like fighting back on something. You may be wanting to fight your demons with this. And fennel seed, or the four of wands, shows that you have an opportunity here. There is a portal, there is a door opening, there is some magic to this, which I like. And then Dill, which is the page of swords over here, is to do with beginning a conversation, starting contact with something or somebody, starting to write something, starting to publish something. It can also be social media, but I don't really get that this time. I get more that it's the beginning of a conversation that needs to happen. Very nice. I'm just looking for my oracle cards. Wisdom of the Oracle. How old is this? Gosh, I've used this for years. 2015, that's not even that old, is it? So how many years? Oh, it's eight years ago, cripes. Does anybody else feel like time is just swing like that? Just blasting through and you're just going, oh my God, is it Tuesday again? What day is it? Tuesday. Oh, now that is really interesting. I might take another one, not sure. Let's go. Let's go face only, seeing as I've got the camera working again. I'm feeling quite chuffed about that, actually. We get message in a bottle, which A, I find a very beautiful card. But B, of course, we're back to the sea. And the sea kind of represents the subconscious and the emotions. And we've already had it here with the hanged man. And we've already had it here with lovely king of cups. When we get message in a bottle, it's somebody basically saying something, usually out of slight desperation, if it's a message in a bottle, because it's got like an old school telephone in it. I know, I love that. And it's somebody wanting to talk, but they're not doing it the normal way, in inverted commas. They're not coming straight out with something. They're going around the houses. So I guess the modern equivalent of message in a bottle is someone sending you a message on social media or liking a post of yours, but not 
actually directly coming through to you or being in a group WhatsApp chat and talking to you through that rather than directly messaging you. I know. Leave me a comment. Let me know. It sounds it's quite kind of to do with the sea and quite subconscious and mysterious. So let me know if you have any hints of that. Okay. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.